The terms maintenance program is used to create, change, or delete term records. The terms are used to define conditions for payment of invoices. If I execute query, we'll be able to see the terms that we've already set up in the system. And uh, we can see the various conditions that uh, would apply to the, the terms. For example, here we have term number two. The d description is 2% 15 days net 30. At the discount percent field, we have two, as in the 2%. Discount days are 15 days in order to receive the 2% discount, and the net days is 30 days. The month following and month following days maximum are allow for payments that are due in the following month and are not based on net days. I recommend reading the tutorial that exists on the terms file maintenance to see examples of month following and month following maximum days. They're not type of uh, conditions that can be easily uh, be explained uh, verbally. It's uh, the tutorials that exist within the online help are excellent in uh, giving examples on these uh, two fields. So in our example here today we're going to do an insert record and we'll enter another term into the system and we're going to call that term 15 and we're going to have 2% 10 days net 15. In our discount percent field we'll put our 2% in. Discount days are 10 and their net days is 15. So if our invoice that we sent out to our customer or the accounts payable invoice uh, that we received from our vendor are paid within 10 days a 2% discount will apply if it otherwise it's due within 15 days so we can save this record and we'll have a now another term term number 15 so when we go into the various screens for entering invoices uh, term 15 can now be used that concludes the tutorial on terms file maintenance.